Hey, what's going on? Dustin Gutkowski here from the DG Show. And so last week I had the opportunity to not only go to UFC Miami, uh, which is an incredible card. I got the opportunity to sit down with Patrick Bet David and have an hour-long podcast about what he's doing. And I will tell you, the feedback was incredible. Uh, when you get to spend time with somebody of his caliber, you get to learn so much. But what I loved about it is not what you think. I didn't really want to ask business questions because I firmly believe if you get to know a person and who they are, it'll tell you everything you need to know about their business. And this guy cares more about his family, his wife, and his kids, and God, than anything else. And he's grounded in the right thing. So whether you agree with what he says, business, business, professionally, uh, he's a great person. And ultimately, to me, that's the key to success is are you a great person? Are you a great husband? Are you a great father? Are you striving to be a better person? Uh, do you have something that you're chasing that's more than money? Can you put a value in money? I think most of the greats that I've seen, they chasing something that most people don't understand because it's not tied to a dollar amount. Uh, we can associate a dollar amount because it's a, it's a tool and a vehicle to get us there. But listening to him talk, he understands who he truly is, and he understands what he really wants and where he's going. And so he has a vision. He has a true vision. When he talks about this 40-year run, he knows that he's going to get there. He knows that if he stays healthy, he keeps his relationship with the people that matter the most, with the man upstairs. He knows that he's going to have everything he needs to get on that 40-year run. Even though he's accomplished so many of these amazing things, I can tell you he's a very humble man. Uh, he could brag, and he could be very egotistical about all the things that he's accomplished. And I feel like all of us that are successful have some type of ego. That's what makes us successful because we believe we can do it, right? And we have this complex of we believe we're better than everybody. But at the same time, we have this insecurity that we're the worst and we're not working hard enough and someone's coming to take our spot. But he's not egotistical. You can tell he's generally trying to help people. Uh, I actually got a lot of, you know, the, the vibes and the energy was great that he really wants to see the best for the people around him. He has a genuine heart to help people. You can see his interaction about his kids. Every time we start talking about his kids and his family, his face lit up. And you can see that he's trying to help his family be in a place that maybe he wasn't at when he was a, a child. And what I love the most about it was, you know, he talks about uh, his upbringing and, you know, being bombed uh, where he was from. But, after he's accomplished all these things, his dad lives with him, and his dad is his best friend. And so as a man who doesn't know his father, and I only wish that my son will be my best friend one day, watching a son talk about his dad in that way and to work so hard to be able to provide for his dad, to be able to provide for his kids, and to his, for his father to become his best friend tells me everything I need to know about the character of him. And I don't need to look at the business because when you take a good person who's a good father, that's going to translate into business when he does it because he's going to ground himself in doing the right thing at all times. Even when maybe he doesn't believe in it, he's going to seek to get it right and he's going to look to do the right thing. And that relationship with his kids, his wife, and his father taught me so much about it. And I have the utmost respect for that because one day I want my son to have that same type of relationship with me. And you could see still the fire in his eyes when we talked about the story of someone disrespecting his dad when he was in his early 20s and how he's 45 and that fire still burns that he's going to have the whole world know the Bet David last name so they know his dad's last name. He is proud to be his father's son. And that is something that money cannot buy. And he's chasing almost this ghost. When they talk about the greats like Michael Jordan, um, you know, Tom Brady, they're chasing these ghosts that don't exist. They don't really know what they're chasing. And I've always used the analogy for me is I'm kind of like a dog chasing a car. I don't even know what I'd do if I caught it. But it's that dream of I'm going to keep chasing it and I'm never going to give up. And so this whole interaction uh, with me, with, to me, was just special because you could see that he's just a normal person. He doesn't put himself on a pedestal. He wants to help build people around him. And he's taken a lot of people along for the journey. If you go into the offices and you see the energy there, it was amazing. You see the energy for the people around him. It was amazing. And it was super special. It was, I got to sit with his team at the UFC fight and he brought, I think it was 20 plus people. And the whole team was wearing Patrick Ben David podcast and Valuetainment. They're bought into the vision, which tells me that he's including people along for the ride because people are not going to buy into the vision one, if they don't believe it, and two, if you don't believe it. And he's got to be talking about it religiously to the team. And he has them bought in because 
they know that he's bringing them along for the journey, which he's treating them right. He's compensating them well. He's taking care of them and their family. And then most importantly, they trust him. And so you can't pay for that type of loyalty. You can't pay for that type of teamwork. You can see the culture is undeniable. Uh, I love the culture because I saw a lot of what we do here at RR uh, with what they do. And so it goes back to it's, it doesn't matter what you do. It matters who you do it with. And it's the visionary's job to surround themselves with people that are better than them at certain areas. And they can build an unbelievable, unstoppable team. And they're able to put the ego aside knowing that this person is better than them at something, but it's going to help them excel in the long run. So it was such a fun time. And again, not talking anything about the business, just getting to know the person as a father. We talked sports, right? We talked favorite dreamers, creators, uh, goals. We also did talk about who's the one person he would have on his podcast if he had his last show with Biz Doc, Adam, and Vinny. And so it was just a fun, fun time there. But sitting with the team at the UFC that Patrick has set up was amazing. Um, I, I feel like he, although we know his beliefs, what I love about what he says is he, he has his beliefs, but he wants to listen to yours. He wants to hear the other side. It's a seek to understand. He feels very powerful and strong about what he thinks right, but he wants to communicate with others who believe complete opposite of him, right, to have that dialogue so we all can seek to understand, which I think is so important in this day and age because we just want to shut out the other side. If I believe this and you don't, I don't want to talk to you. You're wrong. And you can see that even though he doesn't believe it, he wants to hear you out. And that's very powerful, not only for yourself, but for the people around you. And we got to have more of that dialogue. I can tell you that the eyes don't lie. And when you're speaking with someone, he's going to do incredible things beyond what he's even accomplished. And I think like myself, we where we started and where we're at, we're still so much further away from that than where we're going. And I was honored to share an hour plus with PBD. I was honored to spend some time with his team and get to know them on a personal level. Uh, it was great. I will say, and they're saying, the future is bright. Um, the stuff that they're doing with Manek is connecting people. So experts, like it's a genuine platform to be able to connect people. And yes, people make money on it, but you know, users and experts are making money. And then people that are looking to grow their brand, their company themselves, they're able to reach out to expert at a price that's so feasible and affordable for them. And so it's connecting people and it's creating relationships uh, with Valuetainment. He's created multiple podcasts for people and opportunities. It's fun. It's entertaining. You can learn business. And it's just the value he brings on his YouTube channel. If you're a business owner, you should be watching it. And if you get the opportunity for one of his masterminds or events, they're incredible. I've been to a couple of them. The networking and the things you can learn there are next level. I would just tell you this. Look, there's a lot of, I would say, gurus. I'm not hating on anyone that does this. But he's built a successful business that he sold for $250 million plus. So he actually built a business he sold. And now he's teaching you how to do the same. It's genuine. And he's the real deal. But the most important thing, like I said at the beginning, is how he treats his people and how he is as a father and a husband is the best thing I learned from Patrick Beck Davis. So I want to thank you again for your time. Make sure you watch the podcast on the DG Show. Make sure you go follow Patrick Beck Davis, the Valuetainment, and the team. You will not be let down. Thank you for watching.